Who are we? Hi. Hey, hello. Hi. I'm Jody. I'm this Graham. Graham, yeah. And we are just two people who have been divorced, have gone through a few hard Twice, times. Three times. Twice. Yeah. And basically, we're just going to talk about life and all the things we're going through because I'm sure you can relate to some of it. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's true. I've got a lot of experience in life. I've done a lot of different things and um, 62 now and suddenly found myself unemployed. So if Jody and I team me up, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can improve your life over the year. We're going to talk a bit about what annoys us. I'm a grumpy old man at times. This is grumpy Graham. Mm. I'm joyful Jody. Joyful Jody, yeah. And then we're going to see how we go and see if you guys like it. So any comments through the year would be great. Yeah, let us know what you want to hear about what you want us to cover <clears throat> but we're going to go through all the different things the ups and the downs and the all arounds how about that and we're going to start with new year so this new is our year. first vlog of the new year and um i've been asked what i think about new year waste of time frankly waste of time what are you doing saying goodbye to all of the last year that you've been absolutely great for you why are you saying goodbye to it because you want more don't you saying hello to the new year well you don't know what's happening do you it's not uh your future hasn't happened yet. Oh, grumpy Graham. I know, I know. And then what will happen on New Year's Day? Everybody will be out walking their dogs. You won't be able to go anywhere <laughs> without seeing a dog. Now, I'm an animal lover as much as the next person, but the dogs, they're everywhere these days. <laughs> 2.4 children and a dog. Yep, it's, it's a must. It does seem to be a must. I think you were thinking about getting a cat for me. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm more of a cat lady. Then I won't be out on the streets walking it. But actually, I might try. Have you ever seen someone walking a cat? Yes, they do that in another country. Because I saw, I was looking at a, a YouTube video the other day, and somebody mm. was actually putting a cat on a lead into the back of their car, oh. which I thought was a bit bizarre. Um, oh, bizarre. I like it. I think I'm going to try it. A lot of bad jokes. You don't yes. get to my age without having a lot of bad jokes. You know? <laughs> We're going to share some of them. We are online. Gonna, and lucky I'm a professional laugher, so I'm going to laugh at most of them. Even though you've heard them about 20 times. Yes. <laughs> well, that's good. That's but good. I have memory problems, so I forget very And that's easily. why we're working well together. We can. <laughs> Joey laughs at my jokes. I crack some bad ones. And, yeah, it's not going to be good. We're not politically correct either. So if you're looking for a politically correct channel, mm. it may not be this one. No. And we might be swearing a little bit as well. Okay. But you'll learn a lot through the year. So Jody's going to talk about her um, problems with her kidney disease. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I go about finding a new girlfriend because my partner, as you remember, Jody, got up and walked out on me about a year ago now. I know. Just got out of bed and said, I've had enough of this and went. I've taken a year to work out that actually ha this that she'd had enough of was actually me. Um, but we're going to do some motivational stuff around that because Jody's been helping me get over that through the year. So we'll see how we go. Yeah, and lucky you met me. Yes, yes. <laughs> there are some things that you can't change, and some things you'd rather forget, but... Uh, yeah, it's, oh, shut up! It's, it's been quite good, it's been quite good. You little shit. I've learned a lot, and you know, <laughs> life can be far worse. I mean, Jodie's facing a, you know, a, a pretty bad year coming up this year, and she's happy and smiling and laughing all the time. Yeah, you know, you can't let some of the bad things that happen to you define you. You have to look for the positives. Even my blood type is B positive, so how about that? That is quite interesting. Be positive, isn't it? It is. Be positive, you told me. Uh, I thought that was quite interesting. Well, so yeah, because you knew me before you knew my blood type. Yeah, mine's uh, G negative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't have that one, do they? Yeah, I can't remember what one it is. Like, but, uh, G negative. That sounds like a good one for me. Is that it? Yours is just B negative. Just B negative. Oh, yeah, B negative. It is a B negative. That's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, so that's us. So that's us. We'll be here this year. We'll be introducing various topics, various speakers, um, talking a little bit about how life twists and turns for us and how it's gone in the last couple of years, really. Yeah, but now tell us about what you like to do for New Year. Do you set goals? Do I set goals? Uh, well, last year I, oh no, it was the year before I did Couch to 5K. I started in January. Mm -hmm. And by the July, I, was, I ran my first uh, 5K uh, down in Horsham which was quite good. I did a, a reasonable time, which mm. I've, I don't think I've matched it since. So I was clearly very enthusiastic. Um, so yeah, that was one goal I set about uh, two years ago. What about you? Well, I always find that people set goals in the beginning and then they don't achieve them and then they feel negative. So actually I was watching a, a 
YouTube channel from a friend of mine, Jeff Canfield, you might have heard of him, and he was saying that don't measure the failure part, because say you say you want to make um, a million dollars, which everyone always seems to do, it's never 958,000, and um, you maybe fell short a little bit and you only got 600,000, and you were, when you started, only making 300,000 or 50,000. And they see it as a failure because they didn't make that goal. But what they should actually look at is the improvement and the progress. All it is is about progress. That is true. And then I do yeah. a martial art, which actually is a little bit like that. So you grade every every time and you gradually get your belts. And But there's always a little bit of an improvement. And over the last 10 years, I've gone from not knowing or being able to do anything to actually getting my second damn black belt. I'm not like boasting, but... Essentially, it's the same principle. It's you improve good, a actually. little bit each time, and you, you just can't be touched. You eventually, you eventually get to where you need to be. Um, it takes time. It takes time and discipline. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I call him a ninja turtle. That's not very nice, is it? He's not very nice at all. But she does a ninja turtle. Yeah, but you're always off doing your Ninja Turtle stuff. I am. I'm often doing my Ninja Turtle stuff. So and he's got on. loads of medals on his bathroom. <laughs> Every time he goes to the bathroom, it clinkles, clinks, clinks. So he's quite good at it, actually. What she means by bathroom, actually, she means downstairs toilet under the stairs. Let's be clear here. It's not an American bathroom. It's a toilet. Oh, it's sorry. It's an English toilet. English it's, toilet. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's a very nice toilet when I clean it. <laughs> and I live by myself, so that's a challenge. I work sometimes, as you know. Um, but I do do my best. I do do my best. Oh, yeah, you're quite good, actually. Give it a good white round. Yep. Yep. Yeah, well, there's always toilet paper, so that's even good, better. Good better. for the ladies if you want to have them around. Well, and there are so many. They just <laughs> one after the other. As you know, <laughs> yeah. It's just life of dating. We'll be talking about that this year. As I said. We're definitely covering online dating. You've got to talk to us about well, that. 62 Ooh. and online dating. It's a I'm whole 50. new world, people. Mm. 50. 50. 50. Nearly 51. Nearly 51. Old man. I'm an old man. She's youth. But I still think he's hot. You can't say that. Of course I can. People don't want to hear that. Of course they do. What about all these women I'm, I'm going to find this year? If they say that you know you're hot, they're not going to think we've just got a working relationship, are they? They're going to think it's something else, and it isn't. That's what he keeps telling me. Good. <laughs> One day you'll listen. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay, so how about we choose three ways to start the new year? Yeah, okay, I think that's a good thing. I think what I would talk about earlier with the martial arts was um, you know, getting belts is a way of measuring your progress and things, and there are lots of other ways of measuring your progress we can talk about, so mm -hmm. let's have a little chat about those. Um, okay, and then I think it's really good to have an accountability partner, so you can set your goals and then share them with somebody that keeps you on track. Will you be my accountability partner? Yes. Yes! Keep you accountable for everything this year. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Um, the last one is catastrophic thinking. I think catastrophic thinking is one of the big motivators for me. It's 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 one of those things that you can very easily fall into. So if you're on a diet, you miss a day, you eat too much, you eat a mm. chocolate biscuit, and you go, okay, well I'll give that up for today, or give it up for the week. You know, I've eaten mm. chocolate biscuit now, I've lost. Well, that's the worst thing you can do because before you know it, it's become a habit of not yeah. stopping the chocolate biscuits and. One day in a in a week doesn't make a lot of difference, but a whole the rest of the week, three or four days, will make a lot of difference. As I found out over Christmas, so you know I generally weigh about sixty seven and a half kilos, about ten and a half stone. I've gone up to nearly eleven stone just <gasps> over Christmas in about four days. Now, I could carry on with that and go, okay, well New Year's coming, I'll keep going to New Year. But actually, what I've done is I've tried, I've stopped already. I've started mm -hmm. cutting down, cutting back, my waist time to come off, because it always takes longer to get off than it does to put on. So catastrophic thinking. Avoid it at all costs. Don't go, I've lost a day, I'm going to lose a week. Just get Good back idea. on track. Good idea. Good luck with your new year. I hope you start with a bang. Yeah, well, let's talk about measuring as well then. Oh, because, measuring. Yeah, measuring is, um, you've forgotten already, haven't you? So yeah, yeah, I told you I had memory problems. This, this is what it's like dealing with this person on a daily <laughs> basis. We're working together. It's a nightmare. You know, she's the ideas person, fluffy head, you know, no no concept of admin, I have to do all that. Anyway, so measuring, measuring. So when you do a martial art, you measure by getting a belt. Um, but there's lots of other different ways of measuring these days. When I was losing weight and trying to lose, um, uh, get my weight down, then I'd use things like uh, my fitness pal. 
Um, you can track your weight every day on there, and you can look back from the previous month to see how much you've dropped down by. So that's really helpful in keeping you motivated as well. I think small steps. Small steps, small on. steps add up. And then the other one I did was we'll, uh, we'll talk about drinking at some point. Um, we'll talk about how much I used to drink and how much I don't drink at all now for the last three years. Um, but when I first started to stop drinking, um, and you can do this with smoking and anything else that costs you money, I used to put £10, because that was about I used to drink a day, into a pot, and at the end of the month, I'd have £300, guys, £300. Wow. If you think about it, £10 a day is £300, and then go buy something at the end of the month. Or save it for, I don't know, if you want to save it for five months and buy that big TV that you've always wanted, you'll have that big TV. Just put that £10 away. You won't miss it if you do it straight away. And before you know it, you're, you're you know, motivating yourself in that way as well. So yeah, there are a couple yeah. of good ways of measuring. I know. So keep motivated and Happy New Year. Okay, see you soon, guys. Bye. Bye.